you can see that the maximum speed changes from 40 to 30. In this update, it consistently maintains 40 miles per hour. With a lot of cars around, FSD is reducing speed, hesitating whether to tailgate or not, and moves a bit forward as the traffic light turns yellow. Now it's a left turn. I hesitated a bit about whether to go, but I gave it a gentle push. Still, FSD made the left turn very smoothly. Hello, this is AI Drive Life. I recently updated to version 12.5.4.1 a few days ago. Let's see how much it has improved. There were a few issues on the roads I frequently travel, so let's check if they've been fixed. If you're curious about the progress and issues with Tesla's FSD, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications before watching. Thank you. Let's get started. This is a right turn after stopping. I checked for oncoming cars on the left and made the right turn. In the past, if I couldn't see clearly after stopping, I would move forward to check again. Since version 12.5.4, it slowly inches forward to check for cars and turns right away if there are none. Even if a car approaches closely, it assesses the speed and makes the turn quickly. Now I need to make a left turn at the next traffic light, but it hasn't changed lanes until now and is about to do so. Since there's a car ahead, it's reducing its speed. In the past, I would intervene because I felt anxious, but these days, Tesla does a good job of merging on its own. I do feel a bit sorry for the car behind me sometimes. Now we have a left turn. Lately, it has been making left and right turns very smoothly. Going straight, changing lanes, and making both left and right turns, it's nearly perfect. It executed the left turn well. It used to take off quickly after turning, but now it accelerates a bit more gradually. I think this pace is just fine. The insurance company often warned me about taking off too quickly and making sudden stops, but those issues have decreased lately, and I'm really happy about it. Here the traffic light has turned red, and it stops smoothly. I always dislike the indecision of whether to go or stop when the light turns red, but I love that Tesla handles it for me. In previous versions, it often made sudden stops, but now it seems to judge the situation well and decides whether to stop or go. The car next to me abruptly braked and moved past the stop line. It handled that situation better than the car next to me, didn't it? Since the car ahead is waiting at the signal, it changes to the right lane. When the front is clear, it makes lane changes well, but when there's a large car obstructing the view, it tends to weave in and out while changing lanes. In those situations, I often intervene. Now, as more cars appear, the three lanes are merging into two. The lane I'm in is a right turn only lane, so let's see how it handles lane changes. There are a lot of cars today, probably because it's Friday, but FSD smoothly merged into the lane. If I were driving, I would have changed lanes earlier, but FSD takes its time, as if it's seeing the road for the first time, carefully analyzing the surroundings with its cameras. On unfamiliar roads, it performs well, but on routes I know, it can feel a bit slow. Still, it handles things well overall. For instance, when the car in front slowed down, FSD smoothly changed to the left lane, and its response was quite smooth. Now, because of a slow-moving large vehicle, it's switching back to the right lane. If you don't like frequent lane changes, using the minimal lane change setting is a good idea. It's great that it gives you options, as everyone has different driving habits. However, today it seems like FSD is changing lanes more often than usual. It feels like Tesla's in a bit of a hurry. It seems to be assessing the situation and trying to find the best lane, but at times it feels a bit excessive. However, when you want to go fast, it handles it very well. In situations like this, FSD's quick yet smooth lane changes are impressive.
The light has turned green, but it's waiting for the car in front to pass before naturally moving forward. It's progressing smoothly without rushing. So far, I haven't had to touch the steering wheel, and it's been driving without intervention. Soon, I'll check if the issue with speed limit recognition from version 12.3.6 has been resolved. Previously, it mistakenly recognized Route 390 as 30 miles per hour, but in this update, it's maintaining 40 miles per hour correctly. Compared to previous footage, you can see that this issue has been clearly improved in this version. Let's take another look at the footage from the previous version, 12.3.6, and compare it with this update. Is the text a bit blurry? Let me zoom in for a clearer view. You can see that the maximum speed changes from 40 to 30. In this update, it consistently maintains 40 miles per hour. This issue has been clearly fixed since version 12.5.4. There are more sections ahead to check, so stay tuned. Similar issues occurred on Route 20, Route 59, and Route 19, and we'll see if these areas have also been improved in this update. With a lot of cars around, FSD is reducing speed, pondering whether to tailgate or not, and then it moves a bit forward as the traffic light turns yellow. It did well again this time. The pickup truck behind me seems to be in such a hurry that it's even driving up on the sidewalk. Just because it's a good truck, does it really need to go off-road like this? We're now approaching Route 20. This is where it used to mistakenly read the speed limit as 20 miles per hour. Let's see if that's been fixed in this update. The maximum speed is consistently maintained at 35 miles per hour. You can compare this with the previous version video. If you look to the left, you'll see it changes from 35 to 20, and in the middle, you can faintly see a 20 mile speed limit sign for a moment. That is indeed an error, right? This has been improved in the current version. Usually, it checks for oncoming cars before proceeding. But today, it seems to be waiting without attempting to go due to the heavy traffic. After confirming all the left-turning cars, it made a very smooth right turn. I hesitated a bit about whether to go, but I ended up giving it a gentle push. Still, FSD is making the left turn very naturally. It reminds me of when I first drove with FSD. At that time, I was really anxious about making left turns. Now we have the final right turn. It reduced speed and made the right turn without getting too close to the sidewalk. In the past, I felt anxious about the maximum speed and turns, but that aspect has improved. I didn't need to intervene with the steering wheel at all and only pushed it once near the end. If you want to keep up with updates, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching. See you next time.